Trump it's a real violation before I have the problem. Food be his wife up in his crib. Now he can't deny that. So that's how you feel about it? Yeah, because you know you 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 you, you, you value the freedom now, man. You it's it's like it's like at first when you were upstate and all of that, yeah, that, that gangsterism is in you, man. You must live like that the whole time in. From the gate in. Boots gotta be tied up everything, man. But then when you get out and you get a test of this, man, it's freedom, man, it's limited, but to a degree, you wouldn't want to trade this for nothing, man. So, so you think these internet dudes is glorifying the shit? You, you know, basically, the, by exposing dudes at one in one breath, it saves and it educates the community that you around with these dudes coming around acting like fake gangsters. These dudes is exposing them; they get credit for that. So, how would you feel if <clears throat> some of them New York blood dudes saw the videos? Right, cause some of them did, and they was like, "Well, you was food up north. That's why niggas ain't really watching that shit. That's why you was a porter, or you was, you know. How yeah. would you feel about that? That that'd be they'd be lying because I wasn't no porter, and um, you wasn't a porter in no. Southport. And in 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 and that's a lockdown in the porter. But we we talking about in regular population, they. I don't think ain't nobody going to come out there and that knows me, man, and put no lies out on me just to get an argument or rouse out of us going back and forth with that. Because anybody that know me, man, know that I wasn't down with no gang and I was standing on my own, my own two feet. But, you know, whether you're poor or whatever, man, to, to, to day one, I was hustling, man. I was getting the bag day one. And I was in prison. Right in prison. So the whole time. Know. And that was bringing that shit the whole time. So how can I be so bad when I'm in demand in the prison? What I had to worry about is is is, the, is giving some discipline to these cats that think that they don't have to pay. You know, he's not down with no gang, so we ain't got to pay him. Then, then they had to get swift justice. But yeah, you know, I, I, what they doing is 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 you know, I guess if you feel this admirable, man, bringing bringing the light to the peoples, man, who don't know, you know. So it's some admirable about that too. It's, it's honorable about that too because the thing is, is that once you do do that and start exposing dudes, you better hope that there's no dirt on you because then- These internet dudes, but that's what they keep coming up with. Mm -hmm. All these Divines and Corey Kings and Fruit Quans and St. Laz is like people come out and say stuff. I was stuff wondering up. why these dudes, okay, like Laz and them, he had his he had his joint. You said, yo, he on our joint, he gonna be following, we follow him and all of that, right? If he just kept it simple about something with a goal or aim he doing, then his flow and his page and his followers just keep going, keep going. Now his followers is in conflict now. They conflict. Because he checked in the PC. Because twice. he went to PC and all of that, man. And the dude's exposing the little dirt that's on it in his jacket. When he fucked up is when he he went elaborated and animated on a story that went down when he was on the island and all of that, man. How he gave the dude the business and he with the sound effects and how he banged the bong bong and all of this. And he, you know, when you start telling stories like that, man. That be a lot in a lot of these dudes' minds, man, because they actually didn't go through that down there. <laughs> so it's just in their minds. It be in their mind, and you can tell a story. You know, uh, most of the great storytellers come out of prison, man. You know, you're sitting around in your cell, and you're scared to come out, man, but you witness all of this, man, and then 10 years later, you down there road telling the story like you was probably actual of it. That happens a lot, too. Oh, yeah, I've heard some of that, yeah. some of the prison dudes, yeah. yeah. and I'll blow that up, you know what I'm saying? But what last messed up is that he had a nice string flow of followers just checking him out for his music, checking him out for his thing, his little comments, his little talk, his little segments. Where he went wrong was he tried to divert back to some gangster shit like he was gangster, really, you know, and you got this dirt in your, on your background. What you think nobody going to know? You know, if they they all know somebody's gonna know, and <clears throat> if he just kept it like yo man, well I ain't no gangster man, I'm just boom boom boom, then I don't think nobody would have exposed him or came out on him like that. But when you checking in the PC and all of that man, that's a sign of fear man. That's a sign of uh, of fear in the penitentiary man. That that throws your gangsterism ship out the window man. Because True. 
Ain't nobody going to PC because of no niggas talking about, yo, let's you go got, to the yard you and get busy. You got that, Yeah. Story? All right, let's, let's start. Let's get this started.